For the Lord is in his holy temple, and all the earth keeps silence before him. We're going to ask our worship leader for today, Sister True Colley, is going to come. When she comes, we will have a reading of the appointment, and then the program shall go as the Lord will have it to go. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We're going to ask that Brother Brennan now to read uh, the pastoral appointment. Verse 
verse, verses 13 through 14. For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to go to the book of the epistles. It's the second Timothy. Second Timothy, first chapter, we one through five. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promise of, of life, which is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my dearly beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve from my forefathers with pure conscience, that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day, greatly desire to see thee, being mindful of thy tears, that I may be filled with joy. When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois, and thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. And the third uh, book we'll be reading from John, the 19th chapter. Beginning at the 26th verse. John 19. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he said unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then said he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took her unto his own home. Thus ends the reading of the most holy word. Amen. May it rest in your hearts. Be blessed. Amen. 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 Now we will have the decalogue by Sister Deborah Stewart. Things 
of creation like no other. And when his masterpiece was through, he called it simply mother. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really nice, Reverend Chris sent mm -hmm. that to me. And once I found out I was doing this, I wrote down a few things. God gives us everything, his wisdom, strength, and love. He also gave us mothers, and I thank the stars above. When God created his mothers, all as lovely as can be, he made one extra special and saved her just for me. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Now we have presentations to mothers by Pastor Emerson Bradley. God bless you. Amen. I'll read a card that was sent from Elder and uh, Reverend Williams. A mother's love is in everything she does. It's in every lesson she teaches, every sacrifice she makes, and every hug she gives. To all Bethlehem, mothers of Bethlehem, your love is always with me. I'm so grateful for that and for you. And again, happy Mother's Day from Elder, from Reverend and Elder Marvin Williams. Amen. And uh, from your pastor, roses are red, violets are blue. May God continue to bless you. Amen. The goodness of the Lord. Amen. A lot of times we cut things off and we can just be basking and just being ministered to. Amen. Looking at each other and allowing the Spirit just to minister to. Yeah, yeah. Certainly, we say to God, be the glory. And for the mighty God, we serve. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who is this who comes from Eden, the dyed garments from Bozrath? This is Mother's Day. And we have so many stand with mixed emotions. So many memories yeah, yeah. we have, uh, and uh, just church mothers, I could go on, uh, and we just say, to God be the glory. Yeah, I do have a testimony, but I have been blessed through my pastoral ministries. Wherever God has sent me, well, even when I wasn't pastoring, as was associate. My man needs to have an associate, they have a pulpit staff. As a pulpit member, I've always had mothers in every place I've gone that has taken care of me, has washed on me, and given me wisdom. I want to share one uh, mother, the late mother Louise Jackson, Leavenworth, Kansas in the military, and you know, you can't eat much in the military, and mm -hmm. we happen to have watch night, and Mother Jackson had made some chitlins, <laughs> and this was around midnight, and uh, Mother Jackson made these chitlins, and, and I said, all right, Mother, I'll take them home with me, you know, oh no, baby, oh, you sit right here. <laughs> Them chitlins had so much grease and everything when I ate them. And she made sure I ate them. I'm just so thankful and so God for this mother. So that was her giving you encouragement yeah. along, the, along the journey. Amen. And we're just so grateful and, and all of us have memories. I just wanted to get that out. Amen. Amen. To these young people doing a marvelous job. Amen. 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 to those around we say to God be the glory yeah. and I am hoping that sometime as we do communion those who will participate we'll just get a couple of snapshots so we can have it for the archives and memories of the church that we did gather together amen, amen. all right God bless you not going to be long because uh, I know on this day
And it's going to be a long wait at one of those restaurants. <laughs> now, now, the second Sunday in June, <laughs> they'll be outside with a sign saying, come in. <laughs> Good God comes <laughs> out. God be the glory. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. I want to invite your attention to the scripture that was read into your hearing, 2 Timothy, chapter 1. I'm going to lift up verse 5. Let me just say again to uh, our sermon to God and to his son, coming Holy Spirit to uh, the Reverend Clergy in absentia, to the Reverend um, uh, Larry Williams in absentia, to the Reverend uh, Angela Williams in absentia, certainly to, and to Mother, the Reverend Mother Geraldine Cawley, yeah. to uh, yeah. Evangelist Bradley, who's doing our work at Calvary, to our YPD president, yeah. sister, True calling and to the YPD members, we say to God be the glory for all Amen. to all my brothers and sisters in the faith, to all the friends of Jesus, certainly we greet you with Jesus' joy. To our missionary president yeah. and all the missionaries who are working with these young people, the YPD directors, and those who are filling in and working with these young people. I'm going to tell you something. It took me a while to get it. The young becomes the old. Yeah. Yeah. And let me tell you, these young folk remember. That's right. That's and right. God bless us to live. Yeah, yeah. These young folk gonna be coming by helping us. Yeah, yeah. Man. Right. yeah. One day. Yeah. You can come help me now. That's right. <laughs> 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 I'll show you how to push the long go. God bless you. 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 It's good. I feel good this morning. Amen. Amen. find these words and we know that you're going to find strength for the journey. I am reminded of your sincere faith which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice and I am persuaded now lives in you also. Mm -hmm. I want you to just uh, when you go home and study I'm going to research on that lives, how the faith is living. Well, what's happening? I mean, something has to be shown, some action has to be. When you get a chance, just try to uh, pontificate on that, that verse and when you go home tonight and read it. Let us pray. Eternal Father God, we thank you for this day. Allow me to stand out of the sacred desk. Now, God, I ask in Jesus' name, drop by for just a little while. Lord, send the anointing. Send an anointing, O oh God, that would break every yoke. Then, O oh God, give the church your ear to hear what the Spirit has to say. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh upon me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh upon me. I pray now that bless me and more of thee. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. 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 Today we celebrate Mother's Day and Motherhood is, I suggest to you, a ministry. Mothers are those who give birth or through adoption or just by caring and embracing someone and tutoring someone along the journey. So today we join many around the world as we celebrate mothers on today. Mothers, they lead us, they guide us, they teach us, they wear many, many hats, uh, and they take on many roles in the life of a child as we're growing up. Mothers lead us and guide us along the journey. So today is a special day for all of us as we 
reflect back. And it's also a day of mixed emotion. But it's good to show love than to demonstrate love. And there are fathers who are also taking a role on the motherhood also. We don't want to leave them out. I want to, to save some of that ooh, the mother's do. So this morning I want to talk a little bit about the legacy of a mother. Scripture reminds us, and I pray you go home, you read 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 5. I am reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice. I am persuaded now lives in you. The Apostle Paul was near the end of his ministry. And many of the believers had began to uh, stray away from the gospel and uh, began to really drop, move away from it and drop from the gospel. And the Apostle Paul, while he was in prison, he, uh, he writes this letter, and he's reflecting back over his ministry, and he recalls the sincere faith of Timothy's grandmother, Lois, and his mother, Eunice. He looks at Timothy, and he sees the faithful foundation that has been installed. And my brothers and my sisters, while the children are young, that's the time we push and push and push and push and train them and get them into the gospel. Because around certain ages, it, it, it becomes a little challenging. Yes, yes. The legacy of a mother. What is interesting here is that uh, his grandmother, Lois, and his mother, Eunice, is only mentioned once right here in this passage of Scripture. His grandmother and his mother taught Timothy from infancy through the years. Taught him to read, reading the word of God to him, allowing him to allow me for a minute, allowing him to read and, and then uh, allowing him to recite. And then uh, like we do with these young people here and allowing them to, to, allow him to memorize certain verses. And all that, but put into practice what they're reading and the scriptures in their lives. As I'm sure they do. I don't believe that on Sunday morning his grandmother and mother was one way and on Sunday evening they were another way. I don't believe uh, 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 if you allow me just for a few moments that but let me just say that, that their godly behavior yes, yes. was disciplined at all times. Now, I'm not saying, I don't know what Lawrence and what, what Eunice did. Or I'm sure somebody probably made them upset, but I'm sure they, they knew how to repent. Yes. They knew how to confess. Yes. They knew how to turn to the Lord. Yes, yes, Just yes. like some of us. Amen. They didn't act. I don't believe they acted one way yet. Church meetings, 
And what they do now, probably when they met at the temple of the synagogue, Miss Casey, we, 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 we bringing it home now to 2022. We can't act one way now. Then when we get to church, we can act another way. When we're in choir rehearsal, we act differently. We ought to be the same way. Be constant. They used to talk about the late Beatrice Rosier, Ro Rosier Ro Roper. Roper. She was consistent. Oh, yes. <laughs> With no doubt in your mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, his grandmother and his mother, they were godly women mm -hmm. whose faith was constant and consistent, mm -hmm. who taught their grandson to live a godly life life and to put into practice what he had learned. And they'll, they will be remembered as godly women Amen. who taught their grandson and son to live a godly life, which strengthened him, which the Apostle Paul was able to glean that when other folk were turning away from the gospel and, and, and doing all manner of things. And so, point one, the legacy of a mother, a mother's lasting legacy, godly mothers want their children to have eternal life. Yeah. All mothers want their children to come to know the saving yes. uh, grace and faith in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. A godly mother would teach that child somewhere along the way. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting or eternal life. Amen. John 10, 28 to 30. And this is a shouting verse now. And you can all want you go ahead and read it now because it says, and, and this is why a mother wants a child to get, uh, to accept Jesus Christ and to hold on to the faith. It says in verse 28, John 10, verse 28, I give them eternal life, yes, yes. and they shall never perish. Yes, yes. And no one, mm. some scriptures say pluck, snatch yes. them out of my hands. Amen. This is Jesus talking about my Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. Right. I and the Father yes. are one. Yes. And nothing else. Yes. And it comes our time to make our transition. We want to know that our children are saved. Yes. That they can yes. turn to somebody yes. who won't fail them. Somebody that will make a way out of no way. Yes. Somebody we, the, the, the God who we, uh, that we talk them about. That when troubled times come, when challenging times come, you can go on your knees and pray and ask the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the Lord will intervene. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. May not come when we want to. Yes. But I'm sure somebody in here can stand and say that he's an old time God. Yes. Yes. A godly mother gives wisdom through scripture so that their child or their children will know and can come in contact will know the way of salvation in Christ by faith. And I suggest to you over time, Timothy's faith grew deeper and deeper. Just as my faith grew and your faith grew, grew, just as we're growing together each day, it is a process that we grow together daily. You know, Acts said, you know, the Lord added to the church daily mm -hmm. as such as we needed. Now, if you don't come to church, you can't add. That's right. All right. That's right. All right. That's right. I like to tell a lot of people, you know, I went to public school, but if you ain't in church, you can't add to it. Right. <laughs> a mother's legacy. Christ in your life will make the difference. Amen. Yes. A show enough difference. A godly mother, a godly woman in your life also will make a difference. Help keep you on track. Help guide you along the way. Help you to 
Ooh, through this journey. Secondly, I know y'all getting tired. I'm secondly, a mother's, we're talking about a mother's legacy. A mother shares her heart yeah. with her children. A mother's heart is with her children. And no matter what happens to that child, and I was playing that, listening to that C.L. Franklin uh, all week about a mother loves a child. No matter what happens, a mother will go see about her child. Folk oh, yeah. oh, yeah. talk about all oh, that's all I'm, that's my child. I'm going. And the Lord should raise him up. If they have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another. Pray one for another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. Elias was a man sucked by passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. He prayed again. And the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. This is for us, brethren. If any of you do err from the truth, and one converted him, let him know that he which converted the sinner from the air of his way shall save a soul from death, and shall hide a multitude of sin. Yes, yes, yes. Eternal Father, our God, we come. Head, bent, body, bow, petition being sent up. First, Father God, we come with praise and thanksgiving. Yes, yes. We come, oh God, first just to say thank you. Thank you God. We come, oh God, giving you glory. Yes. We come, oh God, giving you our hallelujahs. Hallelujah. We come, oh Father God, with praise to you. Because we know that you are the only one. God, that you are able, yes. and that because of your love, yes. this morning we were able to rise. Yes. 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 And oh God, when we realized we were in our right mind and still in the land of the living, we yes. said thank you. Yes. You blessed us, yes. and we'd go about our way, and we would get dressed yes. that we may come to the household of faith, that we may be living witnesses, yes. that we may be testimony, even in silence, of your power and of your goodness and of your grace and of your keeping. So, Father God, we come just to say thank you. Lord, we thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, that we might be reconciled back to you. And so, Father God, we still look toward the old rugged cross, that emblem of shame and suffering. But we know, oh God, that Christ is risen. Yeah, and because yeah. he's risen, we're, we're here today in spite of everything yeah. that's going on. And I said earlier, oh, what a week. We thank you, Lord. Yeah. We praise you. Yeah, we bless your name. Yeah. Lord, we lift up our hearts. Those who are on our sick and shut in list. Yes, yes. We lift up those who are in the hospital and those who are recovering. Yes, yes. We lift up, oh Father God, those who really, really had a rough time this morning. Yes, yes. God, they wanted to come, but some type of spirit yes. fell upon them and they felt they couldn't come. So, oh God, we, we are praying in that situation in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Lord, we lift up those who are homeless. Yeah. We lift up the hunger in this world. Yeah, yeah. We lift up, oh God, uh, uh, the bereaved families. Yeah. We lift up, oh God, those who, who, who are struggling and yeah, yeah. trying to make ends meet. Yeah. We lift them up in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We lift up, oh God, those supervisors on the jobs. And yeah, we, we, yeah. We, we lift up, oh God, those who would just call upon your precious and your, your holy name. We yeah. ask, oh God, you bless our various communities. Yeah, God. Oh Father God, bless our homes. Yeah. Bless all of those, oh God, who are on the line and who may be watching. And yeah. We pray, oh Father God, you would continue to move throughout this sanctuary from the choir lot. 
Father God, throughout the sanctuary and throughout this church, in the name of Jesus, meet every need in the name of Jesus. Lord, someone just desire a closer walk with you. Lord, someone has come to the point in life where they just want to praise you. They just want to worship you. They just want to magnify your holy name and to make sure that their relationship is in good order and right with you. Lord, we love you and we thank you. Yes, thank you, God. Now, Lord, there were some things I failed to ask. I would pray, oh God, that you would fail not in granting. We thank you for traveling mercies this morning. Yes, thank you, yes. We thank you for all of these young people, oh God, who come and minister through us, through their, through their song, their dance, and through prayer. And we just thank you, oh Father God, even how they're leading in the program. We, yes. we thank you, oh Father God. Yes, yes, yes. Now, Lord, those things I failed to ask, I would pray, oh Father God, that you would fail not in granting. Remember the senior citizens everywhere. Then, oh God, save our children. Yes. Save our children, oh God, from all hurt, harm, and danger. And, Lord, we'll be careful to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. Now, Lord, before I close out, we have not been faithful to everything you've called us to do. Yes. Everything you've commanded us to do, we have not done. Yes. So we're asking forgiveness right now in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. We ask all these things in Christ's name. So says amen. 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 Yes. Of the Lord. Yes. A lot of times we cut things off and we can just be basking. Being ministered to, Amen. Yes, looking yes. at each other and allowing the Spirit just to yes. minister to us. Yes, yes. Certainly, we say to God, be the glory. And for the mighty God, we serve. Yes, yes, yes. Who is this who comes from Eden, the dyed garments from Oz wrath? This is. Mother's Day. And we have so many uh, stand with mixed emotions. But there's so many memories yeah, yeah. that we have. Uh, and uh, just church mothers, I can go on. Uh, and we just say, to God be the glory. Yeah, yeah. I do have a testimony that I have been blessed through my pastoral ministries. Wherever God has sent me, well, even when I wasn't pastoring, as was associate. My man needs don't have an associate, they have a pulpit staff. As a pulpit member, I've always had mothers in every place I've gone that has taken care of me, has washed on me, and given me wisdom. I want to share one. Mother, the late Mother Louise Jackson, Leavenworth, Kansas. It's in the military, and you know, you can't eat much in the military. And we happen to have watch night. And Mother Jackson had made some chitlins. And this was around midnight. And uh, Mother Jackson made these chitlins, and I said, all right, mother, I'll take them home with me. You know, oh, no, baby, oh, you sit right here. <laughs> <laughs> and them children had so much grease and everything. But I ate them. <laughs> <laughs> and she made sure I ate them. I'm just so thankful and so God for this mother. So that was there, giving you encouragement yeah. along, the, along the journey. Amen. And we're just so grateful. And, and all of us have good reasons. I just wanted to get that out. Amen. To these young people doing a marvelous job. Amen. Amen. Sometime as we do communion, those who participate, we'll just get a 
couple of snapshots so we can have it for the archives and memories of the church that we did gather together. Amen? Amen. All right. God bless you. Not going to be long because uh, I know on this day that it's going to be a long wait at one of those restaurants. <laughs> now, now, the second Sunday in June, <laughs> <laughs> they'll be outside with a sign saying, come in. <laughs> <laughs> to God be the glory. Amen. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. I want to invite your attention to the scripture that was read into your hearing, 2 Timothy, chapter 1. I'm going to lift up verse 5. Let me just say again to uh, our Turning to God and to His Son, coming Holy Spirit, to uh, the Reverend Clergy in absentia, to the Reverend um, uh, Larry Williams in absentia, to the Reverend uh, Angela Williams in absentia, certainly to and to Mother, the Reverend Mother Geraldine Cawley, yeah. to uh, yeah. Evangelist Bradley, who's doing our work at Calvary, to our wife, the President, yeah. Sister. True calling and to the YPD members, we say to God be the glory for all of you. To all my brothers and sisters in the faith, to all the friends of Jesus, certainly we greet you with Jesus' joy. To our missionary president yeah. and all the missionaries who are working with these young people, the YPD directors, and those who are filling in and working with these young people. I'm going to tell you something. It took me a while to get it. The young becomes the old. Yeah. 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 And let me tell you. These young folk remember. That's right. That's and right. God bless us to live. Yeah, yeah. These young folk gonna be coming by helping us. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. One day. Yeah. You can come help me now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you how to push the long go. God bless you. 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 It's good. I feel good this morning. Amen. you're going to find strength for the journey. I am reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded now lives in you also. Mm -hmm. I want you to just, uh, when you go home and study Go and research on that lives, how the faith is living. Well, what's happening? I mean, something has to be shown, some action has to be. When you get a chance, just try to uh, pontificate on that, that verse and when you go home tonight and read it. Let us pray. Eternal Father God, we thank you for this day. Allow me to stand out of the sacred desk. Now, God, I ask in Jesus' name, drop by for just a little while. Lord, send the anointing. Send an anointing, O oh God, that would break every yoke. Then, O oh God, give the church your ear to hear what the Spirit has to say. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh upon me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh upon me. I pray now that blessing me and more of thee. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. 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 Today we celebrate Mother's Day and Motherhood is, I suggest to you, a ministry. Mothers are those who give birth or through adoption or just by caring and embracing someone and tutoring someone along the journey. So today we join many around the world as we celebrate mothers on today. Mothers, they lead us, they guide us, they teach us, they wear many, many hats, uh, and they take on many roles in the life of a child as we're growing up.
others lead us and guide us along the journey. So today is a special day for all of us as we reflect back. And it's also a day of mixed emotion. But it's good to show love than to demonstrate love. And there are fathers who are also taking a role on the motherhood also. We don't want to leave them out. I want to, I want to save some of that ooh, the mother's do. <laughs> so this morning I want to talk a little bit about the legacy of a mother. Scripture reminds us, and I pray you go home, you read 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 5. I am reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice. I am persuaded now lives in you. He Apostle Paul was near the end of his ministry. And many of the believers had began to uh, stray away from the gospel and uh, began to really drop, move away from it and drop from the gospel. And the Apostle Paul, while he was in prison, he, uh, he writes this letter, and he's reflecting back over his ministry, and he recalls the sincere faith of Timothy's grandmother, Lois, and his mother, Eunice. He looks at Timothy, and he sees the faithful foundation that has been installed in my brothers and my sisters while the children are young. That's the time we push and push and push and push and train them and get them into the gospel. Because around certain ages, it, it, it becomes a little challenging. Yes, yes. The legacy of a mother. What is interesting here is that uh, his grandmother, Lois, and his mother, Eunice, is only mentioned once right here in this passage of Scripture. His grandmother and his mother taught Timothy from infancy through the years. Taught him to read, reading the word of God to him, allowing him to allow me for a minute, allowing him to read and, and then uh, allowing him to recite. And then uh, like we do with these young people here and allowing them to, to, allow him to memorize certain verses. And all that, but put into practice what they're reading and the scriptures in their lives. As I'm sure they do. I don't believe that on Sunday morning his grandmother and mother was one way and on Sunday evening they were another way. I don't believe uh, 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 if you allow me just for a few moments that but let me just say that, that their godly behavior yes, yes. was disciplined at all times. Now, I'm not saying, I don't know what Lawrence and what, what you did. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure somebody probably made them upset, but I'm sure they, they knew how to repent. Yes. They knew how to confess. Yes. They knew how to turn to the Lord. Yes, yes, Just yes. like some of us. Amen. They didn't act. I don't believe they acted one way yet. Church meetings, 
And what they do now, probably, when they met at the temple of the synagogue, Miss Casey, we, 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 we bringing it home now to 2022. We can't act one way now. And when we get in the church meeting, act another way. When we're in choir rehearsal, we act different. We ought to be the same way. Be constant. They used to talk about the late Beatrice Rosier. Rope, Rosier, Roper, Roper. Roper, Roper. She was consistent. Oh, yes. <laughs> With no doubt in your mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, his grandmother and his mother, they were godly women mm -hmm. whose faith was constant and consistent, mm -hmm. who taught their grandson to live a godly life and to put into practice what he had learned. And they'll, they will be remembered as godly women Amen. who taught their grandson and son to live a godly life, which strengthened him, which the Apostle Paul was able to glean that when other folk were turning away from the gospel and, and, and doing all manner of things. And so, point one, the legacy of a mother, a mother's lasting legacy. Godly mothers want their children to have eternal life. Yeah. All mothers want their children to come to know the saving yes. uh, grace and faith in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. A godly mother would teach her child somewhere along the way, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting or eternal life. Amen. John 10, 28 to 30. And this is a shouting verse now, and you can all want you go ahead and read it now, because it says, and, and this is why a mother wants a child to get, uh, to accept Jesus Christ and to hold on to the faith. It says in verse 28, John 10, verse 28, I give them eternal life. And they shall never perish. Yeah, yeah. And no one, mm. oh. some scriptures say pluck, snatch yeah. him out of my hands. Amen. This is Jesus talking about my father who has given them to me is greater than all. And no one can snatch them out of my father's hand. Right. I and the father yeah. are one. Yeah. And nothing else. Yeah. And it comes out time. To make our transition, we want to know that our children are saved. Yes, that they can yes. turn to somebody yes. who won't fail them. Somebody that will make a way out of no way. Yes. Somebody we, the, the, the God who we, uh, that we talk them about. That when troubled times come, when challenging times come, you can go on your knees and pray and ask the Lord. Yes. And the Lord will intervene. Yes. May not come when we want to. Yes. But I'm sure somebody in here can stand and say that he's an on time God. Yes. Yes. A godly mother gives wisdom through scripture so that their child or their children will know and can come in contact, will know the way of salvation in Christ by faith. Amen. And I suggest to you over time. Timothy's faith grew deeper and deeper. Just as my faith grew and your faith grew, grew, just as we're growing together each day, it is a process that we grow together daily. You know, Acts said, you know, the Lord added to the church daily mm -hmm. as such as we needed. Now, if you don't come to church, you can't add. That's right. That's right. I like to say a lot of people, you know, I went to public school, but if you ain't in church, you can't add to it. Right. <laughs> a mother's legacy. Christ in your life will make the difference. Amen. Yes. A show enough difference. A godly mother, a godly woman in your life also will make a difference. Help keep you on track. Help guide you along the way. Help you to move.
through this journey. Secondly, I know y'all getting tired. I'm secondly, a mother's, we're talking about a mother's legacy. A mother shares her heart yeah. with her children. A mother's heart is with her children. And no matter what happens to that child, and I was playing that, listening to that C.L. Franklin uh, all week about a mother loves her children. No matter what happens, a mother will go see about her child. Folk will talk about all oh, that's all I'm, that's my child. I'm going. Get on that bus or get whatever she has to do to get there to see about her child. Right. Mother will find a way somehow. May not have much to pay her own mortgage or rent, but if a child comes and says they need it, mama will probably pull out and give it to you. Well, you don't, you don't hear me. That's something they do in the South. Then he shares, a mother will share the gospel. Ephesians 6, 1 and 3, verse 1, children, or obey your parents in the Lord, yes, yes. for this is right. Yes. Verse 2, Ephesians 6, verse 2, honor your father and mother. Yes, yes. This is the first commandment with a promise. Mm -hmm. okay. And then verse 3, that it may go well with you. Yes. Now it's good news to know that it'll go well with you as you go through life. Yes. You may not understand it now, but there's some things that'll come along that you will need some well to help you through it. Yes. Yes. You may live long on the earth. A mother's heart when you get some time, 1 Kings, the third chapter, verses 16 through 28. A mother's love is displayed right there in that few verses. Remember the two mothers that were living in the house? Yes. Somehow the child, one of the, they both had infant children. And yes, yes, yes. One of the children got smothered. Yes, and yes. They went to the king. That's both of them said, that's my child. Yes, yes, yes. King Solomon said, all right, all right. Solomon said, all right, this is what I'll do. I'll divide the child in half. Yes, yes. The other woman didn't object, but the mother said, no, 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 it's hers. She can keep it. Just don't kill the child. That was the true mother. Yes, yes. That was the true mother. A mother's, mother shares her heart. A mother's, a mother's legacy. A mother's legacy. Verse 5 reminds us, when you go home and read it this week, I am reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded now lives in you also. A mother taught her child. Oh. Uh, and go to Proverbs 22 and 6. Train up a child. You got to plant that seed. Yeah, yeah. Train up a child in the way he should go. Yeah, yeah. And when he is old, he will yeah. not depart from it. And this is not no guarantee. A lot of parents beat themselves up because children go off this way and go off this way. It's not, you know, the way that, you know, we did this and we did this, we did this. Let the Lord work it out. Yes. You plant the seed. Yes. Yes. You train the child in the godly way. Yes. Yes. The Lord will work it out. Mm -hmm. Child has to be able to make choices, which is very interesting now. Uh, Matthew 7, enter through the narrow gate. For the gate is wide. Mm -hmm. And the way leads to destruction. And there are many who enter through it. That's right. Many. A whole lot of folk that's going to be going through the wide gate. That doesn't mean it's right. Amen. But it says many is going to be going that way. Mm -hmm. We have to teach our children to make wise choices. Yes. Because straight yes. is the
the gate. And narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few, a whole lot of folk. Now few, there, there be that find it. So Christ, I suggest to you that uh, there are two alternatives that Christians are required to choose after having been justified by grace through <clears throat> Christ, through our faith in Christ Jesus. You're either going to go through the wide gate or the narrow gate. We lay the foundation. That's right. And then, don't get quiet on me. I'm going I'm to I'm hurry up now here. All right, Pastor. We, we have to instruct our children on the Creator. Go back to Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. They got all kinds of stuff in school now. God created the heavens and the earth. Talk about God's power. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and a, a, a timidness, but of power, of love, and of self discipline. Talk about God's promises. Ephesians 2 and 10. For we are God's handiwork. Created in Christ Jesus mm -hmm. to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. These words of God have such a tremendous impact mm -hmm. on the life of the children, on our lives in general. We have to trust in God. Amen. Lean not to our own understanding. And a lot of times, my brothers and sisters, sometimes you just have to have faith, Lord. Mm -hmm. Our mind is going to work out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But your prophet is always to have mercy. Amen. And I'm going to trust that I'm going to put all this in your hands. Mm -hmm. Whatever falls in my lot, whatever happens, mm -hmm. you're still God. Yes. And that he's able. Yes. We're talking about a mother's, a mother's legacy. And to our young people, don't worry about what folks say about you. Yes, yes, that's right. You keep doing good. That's right, that's right. That's right. Don't worry about what folks say. What your, your reputation is what people think you are. Please. And your character is who you are. Say so. Say don't worry so. about them. Let that distract you. Yeah. Don't get in trouble like I used to get in trouble. Say, well, Mama, they they doing it across the street, and that's about the last time I said they do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. And as long as folk live, young people, they will always have something to say. But you, you do what is right. As I try and close the legacy of a mother, we must set aside to teach our children, talk to our children about the Lord, and then allow it to manifest through our actions. Sometimes we have to sit and moan and groan and sing. And as I say, and I'm always, and I'm saying again, to remember the young becomes the old. And a greater legacy, no greater legacy to leave than a love and a life lived by faith. Amen. My faith looks up to thee. Thou Lamb of Calvary, Savior yeah. divine. Yeah. Now hear me yeah. while I pray. Yeah. Lord, yeah. God has been good to me. Yeah. He's kept me for a mighty long time. Yeah. In spite of the things I did not do, yeah. God looked beyond my faults. Yeah. And bless me. Yes. He's a God of second chances. Mm -hmm. But those of us who really have a relation, who really knows who God is, He's a God of third and a God of fourth and a God of fifth and a God of sixth. Why? Because when we go down on our knees mm -hmm. and ask for forgiveness, yes. when we confess and 
turn to Him with a true repentant heart, God will forgive us. Yes. 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 He'll cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He's able to do anything but keep us from falling. I don't, I don't do no hooping today. The only thing I want to hoop is just to say that God bless your mothers. God bless your ladies. God bless all of you. When you continue to live a life Amen. that the children would want to live and the grandchildren would want to live and they can tell their children and tell their children and tell their children. Thank you, God. Amen. 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 And the church will continue to march on. Yes. God bless you. May heaven keep you. A mother's legacy. A mother's legacy. And we shall stand to our feet. The doors of this church stands a job. There may be someone here that does not know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. We want on the line of watching us. We want to extend the invitation of Christian discipleship. What must I do to be saved? If thou wilt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God had raised from the dead, shall be saved. Come while the blood is running warm in your veins. What must I do to please God? Do justly, love mercy, mercy, and walk home. God bless you. God bless you. Please be seated.
little different this morning. Scripture teaches us for us often as you do this in remembrance of me. In the same night when Jesus was betrayed, he took bread. When he gave it thanks, he broke it. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take eat. This is my body, which was broken for thee. Do, eat it, feast on the thanksgiving in your heart. After supper, he took the cup. When he had given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take ye, drink ye all of it. This is my blood, which is shed for you and for many, for the remissions of sin. Do this as often as you shall do it in remembrance of me.